Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as I come into Meyer here, I notice look at all these cherries. Been getting a lot of comments on shortages of like sweet cherries. Uh, we've had that around here too. Uh, $4.99 a pound. Good to see they're starting to come back in. We did see a couple packages at Kroger and Aldi. They were very low, but they were getting them in. Uh, they got the mangoes here for 99 cents a piece. They've got these big honking pieces of asparagus here, $1.99 a pound. Look at the regular price on it now, though. I knew this would happen. It was $2.99 a pound for a while, and it's been slowly going back up. $3.29 a pound. $1.99 a pound this week. 99 cents a piece for these huge avocados. But look at this. $1.39 a pound for these onions here. These were $1.19 a pound a few weeks ago. So, I don't know why they put that there. I was looking around to see if was, this was one of those buy one, get one deals, but it's not. That's the sale. They still have their ears of corn here, five for $2, so not too bad here. Glad to see this sale is still going on. This will be going on until June 3rd, so you'll have until Saturday. Come get you some of these. Looks like the regular price of strawberries have, has come down even more here at Meyer. $2.65 for a pound. These were $2.99. Just a few weeks ago, they were $3.49. So good to see them going in the right direction. What's not going in the right direction are these blueberries here. They are now $4.29 for one pint. They were $3.99 last week. Last week, they had an amazing deal on the two pounds of strawberries. They had a sale on the one pound, too, for $1.49. That sale is over, though. So is the sale for the two pounds. Uh, but they're still on sale for $3.99. So still better than $6.99, the regular price. Blackberries kind of keep creeping back up in price, too. They're $1.99 uh, for a six-ounce package on sale this week. But they are $2.89 regular price now so that is up from 275 isn't it kind of funny uh through your guys comments i have so yeah there's been a major shortage of peaches lately we've had a major shortage too seeing these come back in um they are 2.99 a pound 2.99 a pound now that is ridiculous um but the funny thing is a lot of people were talking about the ones that were coming in were very small Look at these, very, very tiny peaches. $7.99 now for a five pound bag of Clementine Mandarins. These have gone from $6.99 to $7.49 to $7.99 all in a month. I was warning everyone last week that produce was gonna go up in price on a lot of things. Looks like some things have come down, which is good. Well, one thing that has gone up are pears. Uh, the Bosque pears, Anju pears are now 219. The Bartlett pears, 219 a pound. That is up from 209 a pound. It does look like the red pears are still 209 a pound, but they may have just forgot to change the sticker. Wanted to grab an ad here. I'm not really seeing any. You know, I knew this would happen right after Memorial Day. Uh, looks like they still have the buy five, save five deal. Uh, you do have to buy in multiples of five, but there are quite a few items on this that you can still take advantage of and i recommend it because uh you know prices are only going up we're not seeing many things come down and if it does come down in price we're only seeing 10 to maybe 20 cent decreases so i want to pay attention to these kind of deals so believe it or not the only sales that meyer has on potatoes this week five pound bags of russet potatoes for 3.99 and the regular price on these now, $4.99. That's crazy. So I saw this here. These are one pound bags of fingerling potatoes by Fredericks by Meyer. $3.99 on sale. Regular price, $5.49. $5.49 for these. I mean, I know this is Meyer's premium brand, but geez, that's pretty expensive. Does look like a little bit of a sale on the Meyer ground round hamburger 
Wow, 739 a pound now. See, I you know, I was warning people about this last week. Uh, meat prices are going up. Uh, this was 699 a pound regular price. They're blinding us by the sale right now, but 739 is going to be what it is. 539 a pound on sale. So if you like this, I don't know, I'd buy up a couple, buy up a few of them and freeze them. They do have the 8020 here still for 499 a pound, but I believe this will be the next one to go up. So I don't know. Meyer usually has some good sales every now and then on hamburgers. So if you got enough, you might wait until that happens. But I don't know if it'll ever be the cheapest sale that we saw in the past here. So $4.99 a pound for that. Okay, so someone had said that the frozen vegetables by Meyer had gone up in price. Sure enough, you're right. They did. They were 89 cents a bag, now 99 cents a bag. The ones, the bigger ones here that were 99 cents are now $1.09. I did notice that these have dropped down though. The one pound bags, these were $1.69. Now they're $1.49. So now this is definitely the better deal. It used to be a better deal to just get two of the one pound bags. I don't understand this. All this time, they've been charging $1.69 for 16 ounces. Now they raised the price of 12 ounces. So, so what's going to happen is this will be the next one to go up again. They'll raise this to $1.69 later, and then that'll be the deal. I don't know, guys. This, I don't know. It's ridiculous. I tried to mentally prepare myself for today. I knew this would happen. Same thing happened last year. We saw a lot of great deals for Memorial Day week, which, to be honest, there wasn't a lot of great deals for Memorial Day this year. Not like we saw last year or years past. Uh, but things like this, the trickery, the stuff like that, or, or, or you know, and, and, and I don't know, I don't buy frozen vegetables here a lot. But it's like you raise the price of the smaller bag and then lower, significantly lower the price of the bigger bag. So yes, you're getting a better deal, but why have those been $1.69 this whole time? You know, it's like you were charging double. You weren't getting a deal and you were getting four extra ounces. I don't know. Okay, so I did want to point out something here. And, and I've talked about this in the past. Because normally, like New York Bakery, uh, $2.99 here, which is actually cheaper than most places, it's $3.19 now. But I was talking about like different flavors and different things that are going to end up costing more, maybe a lot more for some things. These used to be the same price. They used to be the same price. We did see these go up another 10 cents, right? So they would be like 319 before. Now look at that. 395. 395. So if you like this and this was your favorite, your kind just went up a dollar, right? So that may make you think differently and maybe get this one we get a lot of comments on uh texas toast and garlic breads and stuff so wanted to point this out huge price increase pretty much overnight i would have noticed that at kroger i don't know so for those of you who are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe down below we do these videos every day to try and help save you money in the grocery stores also make sure to give us a thumbs up because all the likes on the channel really help spread our videos out all around the world uh, we, we really do appreciate it. Um, I don't understand. I mean, I, I didn't expect to see this many things go up in price here at Meyer today. I knew there would be a few, but I mean, it's like, there's a lot of stuff here that's going up in price. I mean, I don't want to just make this video all doom and gloom, but I want to keep you guys in the know so that you don't waste your money. Okay, so I wanted to point out that uh, Pepsi products, Pepsi and Coca-Cola products, 24 packs, are part of the buy five save five deal um bringing these cases down to 10.99 still seems too much if you ask me but they also have these six packs uh and these are mix and match you can mix and match anything on this participating deal it doesn't have to be five things of pepsi um but if you drink pop i mean this is a pretty decent deal 3.49 a piece uh once you get to that fifth item Someone had asked me about cloths and pickles again. Um, yeah, we've had a pretty big shortage of them around here too. Uh, we're finding the cloths and sauerkraut. There is one jar here of cloths and pickles, so I'll, I'll sell it for 400 bucks. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, uh, previous weeks here, this has all been filled with Myers pickles um, and haven't seen any cloths and pickles here in a while. Uh, I did see some at Walmart. Uh, like a couple trips ago, 
But then we had gone back to Walmart and they were sold out. So I don't know. There's something's going on with Clausen. They do have Oscar Mayer deli meats, part of this buy five and save five. Also bringing these down to three sixty nine a piece. Uh, huh? You know these were four ninety nine too. <laughs> now they're five fifty nine. Sale price increase. We had some comments about shelf stable milks and asked if I would check out some of the prices. Um, you know, Meyer has a pretty decent selection here. I don't know if the prices are the best, but two twenty nine for the almond breeze here. I believe Kroger was two nineteen, but I think they went up to two thirty nine. And then they have some of the different planet oats, keto milk, <laughs> milk with a Y. But they have the Calafia Farms here, and again, these are the shelf stable ones. They also have the refrigerated ones as well. Uh, Pacific Foods here, organic oats, so multiple varieties here. They do have the rice stream, which we get comments on from time to time. Three forty nine for the small one, five forty nine for the big one there, uh, and they have the big containers of almond breeze for four fifty nine. But yeah, uh, I feel like these selections are getting bigger and bigger because uh, every store I go to, it seems like every few weeks we're seeing more and more new things pop up. I hate to say it, I'm mostly just looking around for things that have gone up in price because uh, I want to make sure that the things that you guys always ask about are either the same price or, you know, just checking on those now. I was looking for sales before, but uh, $1.15 a can for the tuna here, same price as it's been. $1.45 for the tuna creations. We get a lot of comments on those, so I just wanted to point those out. Um, they have some of the Swanson chicken on sale, and this is good until Saturday also. $2.99 for these. Wow, $4.29 now. $4.29. Swanson Chuck White Chicken Breast. That, okay, so these are $5.99 at Kroger. I don't know how Kroger gets away with selling them for that much. Uh, these were $3.99 not that long ago. A few, few weeks, maybe a month. Uh, let's see, I got the dark, white and dark mix here. Uh, two sixty nine, so that's a little cheaper. But this is not the big can either. This is like ten ounces. Let's see here, uh, nine point seven five ounces. Why do I feel like this used to be ten ounces? Did this shrink? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Um, this is the better deal. This is twelve and a half ounces. Yeah, we're always getting comments on Hormel chili here. This is part of the buy five save five deal. So this is something you can mix and match within this but again remember this is not like kroger you do have to buy multiples of five not five things of chili but multiples of five on this deal you get two of these a couple cases of pop you know whatever as long as you get to that fifth item but you'll have to go in increments from then on so it'll be five items 10 items 15 items that's why i like the kroger deal a little better but there are some pretty good sales on this and uh, as you can see these are wiped out all the cheap ones uh but yep Actually, they're completely wiped out of those. Huh. These ones down here are on sale, but they're three for five. And Meyer, you do have to buy three. It's not like Kroger where you can just buy one and pay the difference. Um, you do have to get three of them. That's an awful lot of stovetop. <laughs> oh. I think they, you know, if they're going to put this on an end cap and have all this to sell, why are they selling it for the regular price? 239 they should be like two for four or something that would entice me to buy a couple of them so we haven't had too many shortages around here on rice and dry beans we saw where rice was pretty low at walmart the other day but they had plenty of dry beans it does look like some of them are getting bought up here at meyer um but they're definitely getting it in and they've got the jasmine mahatma rice down here uh, five pounds for $7.99. The prices are still the same. Uh, these had gone up in price like a month ago, um, but they're still the same price now. These were $1.89, or $1.79 before. We saw them go up to $1.89 and then up to $2.19. This is what I was talking about. It's just getting way overpriced. But that's what happens. We see it go away, and then we see it come back at a higher price. This has been happening over and over and over with everything every store you see it go away it'll be back maybe in a smaller package or at a much higher price one of our longtime viewers was saying that uh the six packs of ramen noodles had gone up in price they did ours have been this price for a little while but yeah $1.99 now same as kroger i know 
six packs of these for $1.99 is absurd, but it is with the times. Uh, the 12 packs, the single packs here are still $3.69, but these are going to be going up here soon. Well, one thing's for sure, no shortage of peanut butter here. We actually got a couple comments over the last week or so uh, that you've seen shortages of peanut butter. No shortage here at Meyer, and we haven't seen much of a shortage anywhere uh, as of late. Now, you know, we have in the past. It's been a little while, but plenty of Peter Pan. Uh, one of you said Jif was one of them here. They do have plenty of Jif here. They got their Meyer peanut butter. So yeah, just wanted to check this out, make sure, because you know we never know. Usually when one or, usually when two people in the same video talk about a shortage, we'll we'll see short. I think one of you was in Arizona. We get a lot of comments on shortages in Arizona and prices that have just been skyrocketing in Arizona. So I don't I don't know what's going on out there, but it's definitely hitting a wave of uh, massive price increases. We've been getting a lot of comments on flour and sugar lately, too, uh, in very low supply all across the country and around the world. Uh, we've been here. Sugar's been a big one now. I will say this is the most I've seen at Meyer in a long time of their brand. They never really carry much Domino, but they do have uh, a ton of their brand here. A little bit of a sale here on canned pineapple, $1.99 a can for the Dole Pineapple. It's a pretty good deal, $2.39. And then they have the Meyer brand here, $1.39 down to $1.19. I've never tried the pineapple by Meyer, but I know I like Dole. Yeah, 40 cents off a can, that's a good deal. Okay, on to our favorite part of the day here. Check out some of the coffee sales I got here. Kind of brighten the mood a little, huh? <laughs> it's been kind of rough in here so far. Uh, 549 for the 8 o'clock coffee. Been getting more and more viewers on the channel that have asked me to check out the 8 o'clock coffee. Uh, there is on, on a lot of the different coffees this week at Meyer. They have a buy $12 or more on, on select coffee brands. So anything that has this sticker next to it. Uh, you get $2 off your next trip. Buy $20 worth of coffee products with this sticker. Get $4 off. So good way you can really save on coffee. Uh, this week at Meyer, they do have the Duncan ground here for, yep, still 12 ounces. We got to really check these things these days, guys. Been getting a lot of comments on shrinkflation of things that you wouldn't think normally. Uh, one of the big ones lately has been toilet paper, and I'll go over that here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, $6.99 plus it's part of that coupon. We got a very good response on this Costa coffee from a lot of our UK viewers. The sale's over, they just didn't get to the sticker yet, I guess. So it's $8.99, wanted to point that out. You do gotta check the expiration dates. However, Pete's Coffee is on sale, and that's on sale until the 10th. So you got two weeks, two weeks here. $8.49, make sure that's the right size. Oh, this is whole bean. Whole bean Pete's here at Meyer. All right, um, the small bags, small bags. Usually never see that. They got some of the ground coffee here, $8.49 on sale. Now, I did just notice that this is not part of the coffee deal, okay? It has to have this sticker on it, okay? It does not have that sticker, so that will not be part of the save $2 on your next trip uh, after you spend 12 or spend 20 and then save the uh, other amount. Looks like Frederick's here, $4. Uh, looks like Frederick's here is part of that and a little bit of a deal on the buy five save five deal so uh you guys most of you know we like the michigan cherry uh it's a nice smooth like after dinner coffee uh it's very light but it's uh tastes great not heavy on the cherry people have asked me is it like heavily cherry flavored no it's just like a it's like a hint like a hint of cherry uh, and it's really nice but yeah buy five save five deal mix and match with anything else on this participating coupon and when you get this it adds up onto this coffee deal here on your next trip to Meyer, Starbucks is part of this sale as well. $6.99 for the ground coffee plus the extra coupon discount where you're going to save on your next trip. They do have that on the pods as well and the pods of the Fredericks coffee. Although I would not recommend getting the pods of the cherry. These are very weak, like super weak. I get the ground so you can add a little more, but they are on sale this week. And look at this. I actually have the Costa coffee here in pods. They've got the Pete's Pods, too, on sale for $7.99. Now, this is good for two weeks, the Pete's Coffee. 
this is expired so the costa coffee is not on that sale they just didn't take the sticker down yet i guess uh now the green mountain coffee is not on sale anymore but it is still part of the spend 12 or spend 20 and save on your next trip they do have the duncan pods over here too for 6.99 gotta check those these days because it's not like it used to be where they would the ground and the pods would be on the sale for the same price sometimes it's, one will be on sale and then the other one won't be Meyer regular coffee here uh is part of this somebody was saying that the coffee pods the Meyer brand coffee pods went up uh they did it's been a little while they were 419 it's, it's been a couple months at least at our Meyer. Uh, but 4.79 now, I know it's that's ridiculously overpriced. Uh, but they do have the full look at this Folgers. People always ask about these. Uh, 6.99 on sale, 7.99 regular price, 9.99 regular price at Kroger, and some of them went up to 10.99 at Kroger. I think it was the black silk there. Uh, and then they have some other things here. Just kind of scroll down here to Folgers Coffee, 7.99. $7.99 for the canisters. Make sure that's still good. Yep, that's good until Saturday. $7.99 for those. And that does include the 19.2 ounce decaf. So this is a terrible price on paper towels. Six bounty paper towels, 24 mega rolls for $23.99. However, if you spend $25 or more on select PG products, household brands, you save $5. Uh, your next in-store purchase so the sad thing with this is that you'd have to buy two of these to well or something else that is made by P&G they'll have these stickers on all the things that are made by P&G so that's a little way you can save but we can find this for a better deal this is ridiculous somebody brought up a very interesting point one of our longtime viewers very longtime viewers Cottonelle has shrunk has shrunk in size and any of these please let me know down in the comments which ones you have noticed that have shrunk in size also somebody mentioned that the rolls aren't aren't as wide as they used to be so they cut that out which i've seen this before i've seen this in other toilet paper where they've where like it's like you notice it's like thinner on the roll like it's not as wide but here these were 328 uh sheets per roll 328 now 268 268 sheets per roll i mean if you add that up per roll that's an extra roll of toilet paper 739 here is actually a really good price but again they've taken out a lot of this it's kind of you know i try to point all this stuff out as i see it i can't just you know we focus a lot on food but you know we got to look at other things too because that's, that's crazy. That's like an extra roll of toilet paper they just threw out there. And I, I'm not even counting the fact that, they, that they're not as wide either. Do you ever feel like when you go to the grocery store sometimes it's like just being in a nightmare and you're just waiting, just waiting to wake up? <sighs> Been getting a lot of comments on baby formula lately. And I, I, it's, it's the same every week, guys. I mean, there's never enough... I don't know how we're even getting by with what's coming in. I mean, I don't see... Okay, okay. They do have some of the bubs here, but it's been very low. So I my, I don't know if this is flying off the shelves or if we're just not getting enough in anymore. Uh, the Similac Sensitive, the one we always get comments on, still $18.89 here. Okay, so an okay price. I've been seeing it go up over $20 for the small cans. They do have some of the Meyer brands for a little cheaper, but again, check with your doctor. Uh, they have plenty of the Gentle Ease, uh, which is good. That has gone up to twenty seventy nine here at Meyer. Uh, but yeah, it's it's always empty. I you know we got a couple comments on it, so I just wanted to point it out. But yes, we have a major shortage here too. It's been like this for well over a year, more than a year. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so a couple things. Um, yeah, major, massive. Price increases here at Meyer. I, you know, and I, I, I knew this would happen. I knew that the week after Memorial Day, I'm like, you know, I even prepared myself a little bit this morning. I was thinking to myself, like, just be ready. 
It's gonna be expensive. I never know. I never know. And I don't like to preview things before I go to the store so that I am getting the, the initial shock just like everybody else. But we knew I had been saying it. I had been saying it for a week that meat prices were gonna be going up. I didn't even see any steak in there. I really wasn't even, when I saw the hamburger for that price, I'm like, yeah, okay, it's on sale for a little bit for what the regular price was a month ago. But that's what happens. We're seeing the sales and no sales. And this is why I always say to check the regular prices because this is what you're gonna pay next week, right? So it's like, if you look at the regular price and know that it's gone way up, you know that, well, that's the new sale. Or if you have enough in your freezer to get you by like we do, that's what we do. We find a sale, we buy it up anymore. You know, when they had that $1.99 hamburger, we bought up like six or seven pounds and made them into patties so that we could fit them in our freezer. You know, and it's just, I don't know. I, you know, I had a feeling the produce was going to be going up. I, I, at the end there, I was walking past the baby for me. I know a couple, we, we're always getting emails. And I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for, for all of you out there that need baby formula. Because I, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, normally I'd say go to Walmart, but it's just as low. Or they'll have like a million of the same brand that nobody's asking about. Like that Infamil infant formula, I, nobody's ever asked about that one on the channel. And that's the one that I find everywhere. So maybe that's the one that sells all the time. I really don't know, but I don't want to make this too long here at the ending. It's just very upsetting seeing this stuff. But at, at the same time, I knew it would happen. I knew this was going to happen. Um, buy up the sales as you see them, guys. It's the only way we're going to save. Uh, let us do the hard work for you. That's why we do this every day so that we can try and help save you guys money. Um, we'll be at it again tomorrow with another video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.